Hello and welcome to the National Space Centre's Asteroid Week. My name's Charlie and I'm going to show you how to create your very own crater investigation. So first of all, let's have a look at how these craters are formed. An object from space, which could be an asteroid, which is a large rocky body left over from the beginning of our solar system, or a comet, we sometimes call a giant dirty snowball made of frozen gases and rock, or even a meteoroid, which is a fragment of one of these two objects. It's called a meteoroid when it's in space, a meteor as it's coming through the atmosphere, and a meteorite once it's landed. These could impact onto a rocky body at high speed, something like a planet, a moon, or an asteroid, and they create these craters, these bowl shapes on the surface of these rocky bodies. What you're going to need for this investigation is some flour, any type of flour is fine, or you could even use the moon dust that you created last week if you kept it in an airtight tub. You need a tray or an empty ice cream tub, not something too big because we're going to fill it with quite a lot of flour, about an inch thick. Then you'll need a pebble or some marbles or even a ball bearing, whatever you've got available. You'll need a ruler or maybe a measuring tape. And we've used a mat to make sure we don't make too much mess. Now what we're going to be investigating is what difference the height makes to the drop of our impactor, our pebble in this case. So you might want to predict which will create the biggest crater, the higher the drop, the lower the drop, or will it all be the same? Let's try this out. So the first thing we did is my helper put a mat on the table and then she got her flour ready and poured it into our tub about an inch thick so we had something nice to drop our pebble into. And then we're ready to measure. Next, we dropped our pebble from different heights, starting at 40 centimetres and repeated this process again and again until we had enough results. What did you find out? Which made the biggest crater? Was it from a higher height or a lower height? Or were they all pretty much the same? We'd love to see your results. Please can you share them with us on social media, Instagram or Facebook. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye everyone.